Hi, my name is Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies. Today I want to show you a new product that's just come into the store. It's called the Kinetic Halo Riser. Now, the reason I'm excited by this riser is the price point. I think it looks cool. Now, I haven't done a review that literally just came in, so I want to show you this. Now, Kinetic to me, so this is out of Europe, um, and they do a range of stuff. So when I say stuff, they do compounds, they do recurves, and I've had a lot of success with the Kinetic limbs. Um, they're a carbon foam limb, and I think price point is, you know, like 170, something like that. And I've been, I've sold a heap of them and I've had no complaints and no returns, which is very unusual for a recurved limb. So this is the um, Halo Riser. I think it, the finish is amazing. You can just see it glitters. Um, price point on this bow Look, I haven't priced it yet, but I'm going to price it after I finish this video. Probably 150 bucks. Now this puts it at the cheap end of recurve risers. And by the look of the riser, I think it's so price competitive that it's crazy. Um, international finning limb, so it's not a screwing limb. Um, it comes in a whole range of colors. I'm going to show you all the colors. But the... The grip feels like a win and win grip. So if you grab a win and win motive or a forge grip, that's what this grip feels like, just to, out of the packet. Um, black plastic. Um, it's a sort of, it feels like it's got a bit of a texture on it. Like it feels a little, when I say sticky, it's not sticky, but it's got a, a texture. So your hand kind of grips onto it. It's not a smooth plastic. It's a grippy plastic. That's for your clicker there. This just comes, that just comes off. Um, pretty like to me incredible value um, it comes with a little accessory thing in here now this reminds me very much of the PSE riser um, and I can't remember I can now I can remember what it's called it's called the PSE theory um, so have a look at the PSE theory this could be the same riser as it and I've probably got one sitting there on the shelf but it looks to me to be the same. The price point I think is better than the PC Theory, just from memory. The PC Theory was never too badly priced. It was always at the cheaper end of town, but not this cheap. This is very affordable. Um, you know, where does this rate in the price scheme of things? It rates next to the Samic Ideal. Um, Now the Samic Ideal is a painted riser as well. Um, comes in a whole bunch of colors. The grip feels different on the Samic Ideal. It's a hard plastic, um, smooth, where this is very much, well, it feels just like the Win and Win riser. So this is gonna be, this is the orange. How good does that look? I, I took risers to paint shops to have them paint to get them painted and they wanted eight hundred dollars to paint a riser and i see this and it's what 150 unbelievable um so where does this rate in the you know in compared to other risers there is a there is a lot of competition in the recurve market today um jung sing chinese manufacturer um has got a bow called the something or other, the F167 or something. Look, it's not too bad. Um, that's got a fatter grip than this. And this grip to me feels a bit better. Um, the colors on this look outstanding. The Win and Win or WNS um, Axiom Riser. Look, I think the Axiom riser is a hard plastic. It's like the ideal rock grip. It's a harder plastic, it's a shiny plastic. The riser doesn't look as good in my view as this riser. The paintwork on this is superior in my view. This is probably not the same, probably, this is not the same qual quality riser as the Win and Win Motive, but the Win and Win Motive is going to set you back 
um, probably 350 odd dollars where you're going to get this whole bow set up for that kind of price so it's not in the this bow is not aimed at the person who's going well look i want a really good quality i want a really good quality money's no object and let's see you know kind of what you've got although if you're getting started in archery i'd always have a look at the stuff like this because it's good it gets you started and you should be able to shoot good scores with this this kind of reminds me of the sf premium um bow which win and win have got um or it's now called the delta um, which is a cast riser also 25 inches it's got these the similar holes in it that's going to be more expensive than this riser um and I think what this does, what this riser does on the marketplace, it sends a strong message to companies. And Topoint's got one called the Endeavor, which is a multiple, oh boy, this is, <laughs> this is just awful. Um, <laughs> Look, I'm sure someone thought this was a great idea and maybe you love it, but it's like, look, I love the other ones. I'm not loving this, but that's personal preference and someone obviously will probably like this. I'm just not one of those people. Um, the Toe Point Endeavor is a cast riser. It's a fatter grip. It's basically the same as the Junk Sing riser. A little bit probably a little bit cheaper than this but this grip feels much better in my view than the endeavor um, the limbs on the kinetic um, again they're extremely good and they've got quite a few options of limbs so I like that that's the blue and white that's quite smart but like these colors now I'm going to, Kinetic is really going to make a dent in the market and it's going to have a huge impact. I'm going to say on companies like Hoyt, but they probably already have the impact and they're probably already just concentrating now on the top end uh, recurves, which I think is a huge mistake. I think companies should offer the whole range um, from bottom to top because it makes it easy for a shop. If you're a Hoyt shop, you want to have Hoyt bows at the $200 price point um, and you want to have them at the $1,000 price point because it makes it easy for you to sell stuff. It makes it good for Hoyt because they have the whole range and I don't think Hoyt have the cheaper stuff anymore. They used to when I got into the sport um, but it's with bows like this it's really making a statement to bow manufacturers that you're not you're not going to be able to compete against a bow like this but to me like i think there's a market for this in shops um there's the purple and black which looks spectacular now there's if you're getting started in recurve um there's matching stabilizers from toe point in black and in purple and blue purple and black blue and black red and black which will match into this nicely there's a whole bunch of sites on the market now which are black and purple which is just it's going to look awesome at a budget to get you started now just on that when i started in archery 40 odd years ago um i brought myself a recurve um my parents didn't buy it for me i paid for it um it was a big deal to me um, because it was all my money and I suppose second hand I would have paid $120 second hand for an old recurve bow these bows are so good today and the arrows are so good that for a low cost you get a really high quality bow that you're going to be competitive against top archers with so I suppose what I'm saying is to get started don't feel like you're going to, have, you're going to need to go and spend a thousand dollars on a bow that's no longer the case 
surely like if you want to go and spend a thousand dollars on a boat go your hardest don't let me stop you but this and the kinetic stuff is really good value and great to get people into the sport i'm stephen Han from archery supplies um check out the kinetic halo at your local shop and it's always good to have a feel of the riser see what you think of it compare the other risers I mean, I've got a wall of risers there and people come in, they go, I like this grip, I like that feel, I like the high grips, I like the low grips. And it's really good to feel these things before you buy it. And I know it's hard in a, lot of, in a lot of American archery shops. They don't have a good range of target um, recurves. Um, I didn't see many when I went to all the shops I visited in America. Um, but if you can have a feel and see which one you like, um, I really like this riser. Anyway, thanks for watching.